A 404 error is when a user tries to access a website that doesn't exist. How did that happen? Could be a couple ways. Maybe you changed the URL and forgot to redirect it. Maybe they typed your website address wrong. Or maybe somebody else linked to your website and there's a typo in that link. No matter what happened, we never want our website users to feel lost and confused. To guide them back where they belong, we can create a customized 404 error page that is made to help them find what they're looking for. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about what makes a great 404 error page, show you some examples of 404 pages, and show you how to create your own 404 page with Elementor Pro. Let's get started. Okay, before I get started in showing you how to build the 404 page, I wanna show you some examples of 404 pages I really like. Um, my favorite is by Optin Monster, uh, which is the same people that do Monster Insights, which is a Google Analytics plugin you might recognize. And um, I love their 404 page. First, they clearly tell you what happened. They said the page doesn't exist. Um, the page you're looking for cannot be found, so you know what's going on. And then they give the search box next, and then they give a link to return to the home page or to go to the contact us page. Now, sometimes on 404 pages, they'll do like a back link, like a link to go back, which you can do that. You can make a link on the website that is equal to pressing the back button on the browser, but I wouldn't do that on a 404 page because what if it's coming from another website? What if your broken link is coming from a website that's not yours? You don't wanna send them back to a different website. So um, I really like how it says homepage here and contact us here as, options to give them places to go. I think the call to action could be good to go here also, though we do have it in the header here, um, so that's fine. And, and the other thing that this page does that I really, really like is it has their lead magnet here, uh, which is cool to take advantage of the people that end up on this page to get them into their marketing funnel. Next 404 uh, page I wanna show you is TripAdvisor. And this one is super simple, uh, but it's really cute. And I think cute and silly is nice for 404 pages because it's just an extra place where you can make somebody feel really good about your brand. It also gives four really common links of what people might be looking to do on TripAdvisor. And it's really fun because if you refresh the page, you actually get a different little graphic and a little headline show up. Uh, which is cute. And for the last example I wanna show you is CSS Tricks. Now I do, I'll put a link in the description for more if you wanna look at some more 404 pages for inspiration, um, but I don't wanna to take too long in this video. But this one I like a lot because it's really simple. Um, it stays with the brand of CSS, like we have some CSS code in here and um, it gives the option to uh, in addition to saying what it is, 404 error, and saying, um, you know, you're lost, we can't find the page, um, it gives an option for you to email them to tell them about the broken link so they can fix it for the future. And it points them to the search bar because there's a search bar in the header. So it points them to that so they could search. And then it gives them a link to um, their articles page, probably their blog. Uh, which I think is a great thing to do on a 404 page also. Okay, so now that we got some inspiration, go ahead and pop back onto your WordPress dashboard. And now we're gonna make the actual 404 page with Elementor Pro. Now, if you've worked with Elementor Pro's theme builder before, this is gonna all feel very familiar to you. Um, go ahead and hover over templates, which is under Elementor, and then go to theme builder. And then just hover over error 404 and then click the plus sign. So one of the coolest things about Elementor Pro is we do have these pre-made blocks um, that you can use to get designs right into your page uh, immediately without having to do anything. And you've got a whole bunch here that could match the style of your site. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hover over one of these and click insert. And then from here you can modify this, change it to uh, match your site, your branding, uh, change the colors. I'm not gonna go through um, all of that stuff, the basic Elementor uh, design, how to work with Elementor, I'll include a link to a tutorial in the um, description for you for that. I just wanna stay very 404 page specific for you guys here. So we already have, when we put this in, we already have a search bar. Um, you can see right here. Now, if you wanted to add the search form widget, you would just add it like any other widget. Um, you would just search for search and then you would just drag it in. 
So if you choose not to use a pre-designed block, that's how you would do it. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And if you wanted to add like a fun graphic, you could do that just by dragging in, you know, an image thing, plopping your graphic in there. You could, of course, drag in a button and then have your call to action button there. But something I really, really like to do on 404 pages is to uh, give options for other parts of your site um, that people might want to go to. Uh, especially like your blog posts. So if you wanted to do your blog posts, you would find the um, the posts widget and drag that in. And then you can change the uh, options here to have it look like however you want it to look. And you probably wouldn't want to have like the avatar for this. You probably wouldn't want to have, let's see, You'd probably want to remove the image here and just have it kind of be a list. So in that case, you could do like one column and it'll make a list like that. You have lots of options here. Probably wouldn't want to, in this in this situation, you wouldn't want to do an expert excerpt. I, I always say that wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it. I, it's one of those words that you see, so you don't know how to say. But anyway, you could change all your settings on this widget to make this look the way you want it to look. Um, you can also do links to some of your popular pages. There's a million different ways that you can do this. Um, you can do it with like a menu, an actual WordPress menu. You could do that and then pick your menu from here. Um, or you could do like an icon list is sometimes fun for that. So if you wanted to do an icon list, you could put your name of the page a popular page and then the link here and then you could change your icon so that could be a fun way to list them out but those are all things that could be really good for a 404 error page once you're done designing this click the publish button and since we chose the 404 page from the elementor theme builder already all this is already set up perfect to have this page show on every 404 error page so we can just click save and close so let's go ahead and test that. I'm gonna click here, go to view page. And this is gonna be, we're, right now we're just viewing the template. So we're not really testing it here. We're just kind of viewing the template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to my home page, and then I'm gonna go to a page that I know doesn't exist. And there you go. Once I do that, 404 page is up, it works. So now when people get lost on your website, they'll easily be able to find what they're looking for. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you are building your own website, make sure to check out my description for a freebie download for a nine-step roadmap to make sure that you're doing everything that you need to do to get your site live. Thank you so much for watching.